Hey, this is Dan from School of Sheets. We build custom smart sheet solutions, and today I'm gonna to answer a question from the smart sheet community. So I'm in a new section of the community, which is actually the enhancement request. This is where people submit requests for new features they want the platform to have. And one of the more popular ones is the ability to have more symbols in dropdown lists. I want to be transparent. There's been a lot of activity. This is going back to 2022, over two years ago. And some people have already suggested the solutions I'm going to cover. One is using conditional formatting. One is using symbols, basically emojis. So I want to give credit to other people that have already answered this question. For what it's worth, I independently also come up with the same ideas myself. It just so happens that other people have also recommended it. So with that little disclaimer out of the way, let's go into smart sheets and get to work. Okay, so I have a just a fresh sheet here. You can already see there's a little uh, emoji action going on in the title. Basically, the kind of quick answer to this is you can just use emojis the same way you would use any other character. And I put a cool guy here because it's pretty cool, I think. So just to illustrate again, if you use your built-in symbols, this is a pretty common one people want other colored circles here. So you're restricted to these three sets. So I'm actually going to change this to a drop-down list. We'll call it status. I'm going to restrict the list values here. And I'm going to go to the internet. And I'm using Emojipedia. There's, you can really just Google list of emojis and you'll find it. So if you just search for the colors you want, you can copy them, put them in here. So we'll do blue, we'll do red, what do we want, green, green circle, let's do a yellow one. So this is kind of the existing four colored set one of them you can also do gray so we can also put in they don't i don't think there's technically a gray circle emoji but you can use white and let's get one other one i think there's a black circle so now we have our various options and you can see that you will be able to select these and they will populate the same way. Um, you know, they look slightly different than the built-in ones. Not quite as nice, I think, but they get the job done. You can make them a little bit bigger if you want them to take up that space, but it'll, of course, make your rows wider, or sorry, taller. So that's one thing that you can do. The other solution is to use conditional formatting. We're going to do is go into conditional formatting here and we're going to say if you could do it based off of whatever criteria you need but just because this is what we have i'll move this so you can see it so we're going to i'm just going to match the colors that are already in the status symbol we want to only apply the formatting to our status cf column and now if we reproduce this, we can now work with the full suite of color options here. I personally prefer the symbols. I think the block of color just looks a little bit, I don't know, distracting, but that's the beauty of the platform is you can choose what you like. The last thing I am going to show you is a lot of times people want to automate their symbols. So I'll move this over here. All right, so I'm actually gonna make this a drop down as well. And I'll tell you why in a second. I'm going to use the same list of characters I'm not going to restrict it. I'm going to put in a formula here that's going to output 
the appropriate symbol based on the option in the legend. And I'm using it as a dropdown because whenever you're going to deal with a column that's outputting a discrete, predictable set of values, even if you're using a formula, it's better to use a dropdown because if you start to use that in reports or other functions across the ecosystem of tools in Smartsheet, you will find it will be easier because the system will recognize that you have a dropdown and it has these values programmed into it. You can select from those, you can parse them more easily. So that's just a little bit of a, I guess, a tip. This is gonna be your standard if formula. And we're gonna go with legend that row equals complete. So now what we can do is actually just paste the literal symbol into our formula syntax here, but you gotta put it in quotes because again, this is a text value and we can see that it will work in that sense. So let's just go ahead and build the rest of the formula. copy this and paste it and change the text. Don't worry about the parsing because we're going to fix that in a moment. Okay, so we can convert this to a column formula. And then here we go, we have our automatic custom symbol values here. Last thing I'll leave you with is, you know, keep in mind, you can, you can use any of the emojis that are available in the computer world. You can use, you know, the red X, exclamation point, all sorts of stuff. So it's super customizable. You can put it in your titles. You can put it in your formulas. You could even come bind these. So if we put this formula into here, we can now have both the background and the symbol. So lots of options. Choose the one that you like best and enjoy your new flexibility with your drop down list and symbol options. So that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, Please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for future Smartsheet tutorials. If you have a question or comment, you can leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make a video for you if it's on a new topic. And finally, if you're looking for some help developing your Smartsheet environment or if you're new to the platform and want some help, School of Sheets is a gold aligned partner consulting firm and we specialize specifically in building new Smartsheet systems and upgrading existing ones. So there's a link in the description for our client interest form where you can fill out some details about your project and then schedule a call with me to see if it's a good fit. So if that's of interest, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, have a great day and see you in the next one.